Hello and welcome back to another exciting session, difference between database and data warehouse. I'm going to explain the difference between database and data warehouse with certain parameters so that it is easy to understand. Those parameters are like the purpose, processing method, etc. All right, let's learn about the first parameter, purpose. What is the purpose in, for using the database and data warehouse? So database is designed to record and database data warehouse is designed to analyze. What do you mean by database is designed to record? That means the data in the database is entered and recorded for the current and the future use. In data warehouse, the historic data is stored and which is accessed from the database and used for the analysis purpose. What is the next parameters? The processing method. In, in database, the database uses the online transactional processing, which is also called a LTP. And in data warehouse, it uses the online analytical processing, which is also called as OLAP. The name and the data processing in database is called as online analytical processing, which is used for the day-to-day -day transactions. In data warehouse, since historic data is stored in the data warehouse from multiple sources, data is stored for the analysis and the reporting. That's why the data processing is called online analytical processing. The third parameter is usage. The database helps uh, uh, to perform fundamental operations for your business. Data warehouse uh, allows you to analyze your business. So to give an example for database, uh, uh, for example, daily bank transactions like you know cash deposits and withdrawals are stored on the immediate basis. These are called as fundamental operations of the business. And in what happens uh, in the case of data warehouse? Once the bank transactions are recorded over a period of time, like five years, 10 years, the data used for the analysis and the reporting in data warehouse. The same data will be used for the analysis for taking further decisions. Fourth parameter is tables and joins. In database, tables and joins for a database are complex as they are normalized. But in the case of data warehouse, tables and joins are simple uh, because they are denormalized. Okay, first let's understand what is normalization in the case of database. Database uh, normalization is a process which is used to organize a database into tables and the columns. The idea is that the table uh, should be about a specific topic and topic only, and it is supporting the topics included. For example, a spreadsheet containing the information about salespeople and the customer service service, uh, customer serves uh, several purposes. So this kind of normalization will, will serve many purposes. To give a quick, uh, you know, uh, the example of those purposes are, it identifies salespeople in your organization, and it will list all the customers your company calls upon to sell a product. So these are all, uh, you know, the part of the normalization where this, uh, the database technicians uh, will talk to the business and they do perform this normalization process. And the third purpose of normalization is it identifies which salespeople call on specific customers. So by limiting a table to one purpose, you reduce the number of duplicate data contained within your database. Because of this, user might have to write complex queries when joining between the tables. So it's, it's really a big deal in database because you have to have a good expertise in order to write the complex SQL programming and querying. So what happens uh, in terms of table and joins in the case of data warehouse? So denormalization is a strategy which is used on a previously normalized database to increase the performance. In computing, denormalization is the process of trying to improve the read performance of a database at the expense of losing some write performance by adding the redundant copies of the data or by grouping the data. Because the data accessed through the data warehouse is using the read, hence, uh, denormalization makes sense for the data warehouse tables. 
And what is the fifth uh, point that is orientation? In case of data where in the case of database, orientation is an application oriented collection of the data. But in case of data warehouse, it is a subject oriented collection of data. So what do you mean by you know the application oriented collection of data in database? So let me explain this with an example. You have a sales department and inventory department in your organization. There will be a dedicated database separately for sales and inventory to record the respective transaction. This is why database is application oriented collection of the data. So data warehouse, while data warehouse is, is a subject oriented uh, collection of data. Similarly, what is subject oriented collection of data? So we have seen individual databases for sales and inventory, which records only the daily transactions from those departments. If you bring the historic data from these two departments for the further analysis between the sales and the inventory for the future marketing purposes and future purchasing purposes, then the collection of the data is called a subject oriented collection of data. Please pay attention because this is very important in terms of understanding the concept between the database and the data warehouse. Because tomorrow you might face the question, you know, why should I use the database for this kind of data? Why I should be using data warehouse for historic data? The next parameter is storage limit. So in case of database, the storage limit is limited to a single application, while in data warehouse, it can store the data from any number of applications. So like I explained about point of orientation, each application of department will have a dedicated database. So data warehouse will store the data from any number of applications. In the case of data warehouse, data is stored from multiple, uh, multiple applications. We already discussed about this in many times. The next parameter is to discuss is availability. So in database, data is available real time, but in data warehouse, you know, data is refreshed from the source system as and when it is needed. This is something like, uh, okay, let's let's talk about what is data available in real time in database. This is something like you log into your bank application and you check your balance. The data which is shown on the application is real time. That means whatever is available in the database is shown right in the right in front of your uh, through the application. Now you will transfer certain money to your friend and there will be a deduction of money from your bank account. So the current balance is updated on an immediate basis and whatever is shown in the real time is going to be your current balance in your account. In database, existing data might be erased or modified so the data volume does not increase so easily. What is availability in case of data warehouse? So in case of data warehouse, data is refreshed from source system as and when it is needed. Data in data warehouse is loaded on an incremental basis without affecting the existing data. So the data volume keeps growing in a faster phase. So what happens in data warehouse is whatever the bank transactions happens on a daily purpose, they all get added to the data warehouse. Those historic transactions will not reside in the database, rather that information is transported to the data warehouse and data warehouse is going to hold a lot of historic information. The next parameter uh, for the comparison is usage. In case of database, we are using the ER modeling techniques are used for the designing. While in data warehouse, data modeling techniques are used for the designing. Okay, well, let's understand what is ER. ER is nothing but entity relationship model. So in case of database, entity relationship model describes the interrelated things of interest in a specific domain of knowledge. In software engineering, an uh, ER model is commonly formed to represent things a business needs to remember in order to perform business processes. So consequently, like you know, entity relationship model becomes an abstract data model that defines a data or information structure which can be implemented in a database, typically in a relational, relational database, that is RDBMS. So what is the usage 
uh, what do you see in data warehouse from the user's perspective? So the data modeling techniques are used for designing. So top-down requirements-driven approach, fact tables and dimension tables are some of the data modeling techniques used for the designing. So we, we will discuss, definitely discuss about all these techniques and approaches in the upcoming sections. So the next parameter which you can, uh, with which you can compare between the database and the data warehouse is uh, technique. So what is basically the technique used in database? The technique essentially uses capturing of the data and in case of uh, data warehouse is basically the analyzing of the data. So in database is used for just capturing and uh, storing the data for future use, but in the case of uh, data warehouse, historic data is stored and uh, used for the analysis purpose. This we can have discussion. Uh, uh, this already we have a discuss discussed many times now. The next parameter is data type. So in case of database, the data stored in the database is up to date. But in the case of data warehouse, current and the historical data is stored in the data warehouse and may not be up to date as and when you update the information that may be like weekly or bi-weekly or monthly or, or like, you know, uh, quarterly. So the data when you are updating that time only, you will see the latest data in the, uh, uh, in the data warehouse. So next parameter is uh, uh, query type. Simple transaction uh, queries are used in case of database, but in case of data warehouse, complex queries are used for the analysis purpose. So simple transaction queries are used means the operation is a simple query such as like, you know, read, update, delete, drop, etc. But complex queries are used. There will be like queries in where relatively complex to high com highly complex since uh, multiple tables are joined while reporting the data on the BI tools. Next thing is the uh, data summary. Detailed data is stored in the database, but uh, in case of data warehouse, it stores the highly summarized data. So detailed data is stored in database. What do you mean by this? Database uh, contains um, every other information related to the business operations. So the detailed info is available on the database. But in the case of data warehouse, uh, data warehouse jobs accesses only the required information from the database, which are very much, you know, required for the analysis purpose. What is uh, like, you know, uh, data summary? So in the case of database, detailed data is stored in the database and who, in the case of data warehouse, it stores highly summarized data. So this is about, you know, the difference between database and data warehouse, because I, some of the points which I have discussed here may look like repeating, but you know, so the more times you listen to these points, uh, uh, there is a chances of uh, remembering those points. That's the reason, you know, I have put all these points, uh, uh, you know, the repeatedly in uh, many topics so that you don't forget those concepts uh, when you keep learning other concepts. I hope you enjoyed this session. I'll see you in the next topic. Thank you very much.